In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to use dimensions to help you modify elements within your model. Now I'm going to be looking at a basic floor plan, level one in the project browser, of a basic building layout. If you select any one of the elements, let's say this wall here, you'll notice that temporary dimensions will appear. These temporary dimensions can be adjusted using the square grips at either edge of the extension line of this dimension. If you simply single click on this dimension, it will toggle between the nearest elements. In this case, it's the center line or the face of the other connecting wall. You can also mouse over this line and drag it to some other object. Click on the blue temporary dimension and change the value. And it will move the selected object. When you click away from the object, temporary dimension is removed. If you want to change where the dimension, the temporary dimensions are referencing other objects, you can access that under the Manage tab, Settings, Temporary Dimensions. I like to set mine to for walls to measure to the faces of walls and for doors and windows to measure to their openings. In this case, I can adjust each one of the ends of the temporary dimension to give me exactly what I'm looking for. If you notice, there's a, a small icon right beneath the temporary dimension. By clicking on this icon, you can convert the temporary dimension into a permanent dimension. I'm going to temporarily adjust the scale to make the text read a little larger. Now, a common misunderstanding is that you can simply select the dimension and adjust the value. While this seems intuitive, if you think about it, the dimension is connecting between two separate building objects, the wall at the north side and the wall at the south side. By clicking on the dimension, Revit doesn't understand which one you want to modify. Do you want to move the wall at the north or do you want to move the wall at the south? In recent versions of Revit, you can now edit the dimension value. You can't override the, the actual number, but you can add text such as verify or similar that will be appended to the value. If you needed to override the complete value itself, you can use the option to replace with text and say something like varies. Now let's put in a quick dimension string. From our annotate tab, I'll use the align dimension tool. And I'm clicking all of the objects that I'd like to dimension in the string. And when I'm finished, I'll simply click in an open space to place that dimension string. Going back to modify, I can use any of the values on this permanent dimension string to modify the walls themselves. Let's say the second room needed to be changed to be 18 feet wide. I'll select the wall at the right side of that, and you'll notice that the 16-foot dimension and the 20-foot dimension both highlighted. Simply click on the value of 16, override it with 18, and hit Enter. 